been to the airport. He's been to the airport. That's it. No more than that. Hopefully never again. We got it. I'll drive. <laughs> yeah, we'll drive. <laughs> At the end of the day, Pop realizes they were a couple of bad bounces and a Ray Allen three-pointer away from winning that finals last year. And I think you're going to see them play the same type of game plan. Back off LeBron James, make him deliver on his weakest point, which is those long jump shots. Okay. You heard what he said. That's the strategy. Should they do that, Stephen A. Smith? Same strategy from last year? Of course you have. Of course you have to do that. LeBron James is 6'8", 250 mm -hmm. or 260, depending on which, which report you believe or standing next to him. Every time I'm standing next to him, I see 260. Okay. And I don't see 250. Okay. But you what see I'm, 270. Uh, I see 260. Boy, he's a, he's, big a, boy. he's a big boy, okay? But what I will tell you is this. You have to do that because LeBron James is one of the elite finishers in the game. And he can, you know, he can take your heart out. If you can't stop him from going to the hole, mm -hmm. it, it's something's going to happen to you. And one of the things that they're going to have to contend with now is, in case no one has noticed, LeBron's a better post player now than he was last year. He is. He plays better with his back to the basket now. That's going to be a problem if you're a Kawhi Leonard. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a problem even if you're Boris Diaw. Now, Boris Diaw gave him some trouble last year. He only shot like 14% from the field when Boris Diaw was oh. defending him. But do you really think that's going to happen to him again? Do you really think that LeBron James, knowing that he shot 14% against Boris Diaw, <laughs> is going to turn around and let that happen for a second consecutive NBA Finals? I'm going to bet my money on LeBron in that situation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't see that happening. So if you are pop, you're talking about Tiago Splitter and Tim Duncan and their length and that being a problem and how they can collapse on you. Ultimately, if you make sure they clog the lane, if forces LeBron to shoot jump shots. And if he's doing that, LeBron is a scorer. He's not a shooter. That's not his game. And so if you force him into doing that, it can rip your heart out, but it can also help you right, if he's that. not on, because he's not always on from the perimeter. Right. So you have to be careful about that. But at the same time, again, even though I'm the San Antonio Spurs and I would employ that philosophy, the flip side to it is that if I'm Eric Spolstra, I just make sure that the Ray Allens and the Shane Battiers are on, are on the floor with LeBron. A uh, Shane Battier, uh, uh, Ray Allen, uh, uh, Dwayne Wade, of course, and, and whether it's Birdman or somebody else, you make sure there's some size on the floor with the LeBron because, believe it or not, even though you're giving up some size, I don't think we have much to worry about if we, let's say, let's say Spolstra counted by saying, you know what, LeBron, mm -hmm. even though you don't like to do this, mm -hmm. we're going to have you some minutes down low mm -hmm. defending Tiago Splitter. No. That's a playoff. Your friend. That's a playoff. I mean, he, he doesn't have to worry about it. It's not like Popovich is going to call Tiago Splitter's <laughs> number and say, Tiago, take me to the promised land. <laughs> so you know what? That could actually work uh -oh. to Miami's advantage because LeBron won't have to. He might have to work boxing out, right. but he ain't going to have to work but so much in terms of defending him straight up. I might counter with something like that if I'm supposed to. But in the end, the answer to the question directly, the right do thing it. to do yeah. is to force LeBron to shoot jump shots. By the way, uh -oh. the difference-making maneuver Here we go. in the last series in the Western Conference Finals was the benching of your new friend, Tiago Splitter. Mm -hmm. Am I right about that? Matt Bonner because it, it, was. it pulled a Baca it away did. from the basket. But the reason why that wouldn't work in this series, Skip, is because Miami doesn't have elite shot blockers. So because of that, you don't really have to make that move. It's not necessary because who are you trying to pull away from the basket? But you know what? After game two last year, the finals, if memory serves, and I'm a little off the top of my head, I think they started going away from Tiago after LeBron blocked his shot. Do we have that? Hand yeah, that was Brian. a big time block. That wow. was a big time block. Oh, we don't have it. Okay, I thought they block. had it. But you remember the block? Yeah, it was. A it was, it was psychologically <laughs> devastating. <laughs> yeah. To Tiago. To you. Yeah. Well, it was to Tiago, I think. Okay. Okay. okay now we okay. have it. Just to remind people yeah. just how bad right. this was. Yeah. It was a good block. It's a great block. Okay. Here it is. Here we go. Great block. Here it is. Oh boy. Oh. I'm, I'm uncomfortable. I had a good view of it. Oh, 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 <laughs> it oh hurt. that hurts. It hurt. That hurts. That hurts my psyche. Oh, boy. He's not going to be nice to you, Stephen A, anymore. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, we've seen enough of that. Now, okay. back to the question, <laughs> the question at hand. Should Pop employ the same strategy? I'm about to pay LeBron James the highest compliment I can pay him. Wow. I'm going to put him in the conversation with Michael Jordan and Magic Johnson because he has done something that they both did in their careers. 
LeBron James has been so dedicated every offseason to shooting a million jump shots or however many he can shoot in an offseason, wherever he goes, even on vacation, taking the ball, taking the shooting coach with you, spending two, three hours in the gym, even on vacation, shooting thousands and thousands of jump shots. He has improved his jump shot year after year after year. Never better than this year. Mm. So my answer to this question is, you cannot do what you tried to do last year. And certainly you cannot do what you did in what year was it, 07 against Cleveland um, in the finals? When their battle cry against LeBron in 07, that was just LeBron and company with the Cavaliers, sure. was no dunks. He, you cannot let this man get to the rim, especially in the two games in Cleveland. It was a sweep because you can't let him detonate the crowd. So they just, you know, you're, you're just mainly keeping him away from the rim because he didn't even try to shoot as many jump shots. Right. Last year, let's look at the numbers. In the four wins last year, outside the paint in the finals, outside the paint, LeBron shot 45% in the four wins. Now, in the three losses, he only made 21% of his jump shots, which is pretty pathetic. So that's, you, you, can, you, you can say that's the win and lose stat, right? Does the jumper fall or does it not fall? What is my lingering memory of game seven? Greg Popovich on the bench gesturing at Kawhi Leonard. Get off him. Get off him. You know, dare him. They were just daring him to shoot. And what happened near the end of game seven? He hit the clincher. Remember the jumper he hit? It wasn't, I'm not talking about, it's not yeah. like a walk-off shot, but it was the one that clinched the win. He made a, what was it, maybe a 18, 19-foot yep. jump shot? Yeah. And it was a big-time shot by a guy who didn't used to be able to shoot that shot. So to me, you, you just got to live with this. You got to mix and match everybody. Some Kawhi, some Dial, some Danny Green. Remember, Danny Green was on him when he missed the, the late jump shot. Right. Remember that one? That's right. Okay. And then ran back. And ran back. And, and Pops, Pops never forgave him. Yeah. 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 Okay. He's forgiving him now. Yeah. All right. all it took him a while, but yeah, he's all right. He's all right. But I'm just hoping that LeBron does try to post up whoever's on him because th this, this whole strategy of, oh, just dare him to shoot. I'm not sure that works anymore against this guy. Seriously. Wow. And, and I give him the highest marks because you saw Michael Jordan early in his career. He didn't have much of a jumper. Magic had no jumper. And he developed that little set shot, but he could make it. About halfway through his career, he started dropping it like it was free throws. Yeah. So Look I give him that. With the well, objectivity. I got to. That's just straight objectivity. Okay. Well, that's good. I'm proud of you. Yes, we are proud of you. Next moments. question. Yes. There are rare moments you're capable of it. I <laughs> applaud you for that. Rare moments. Uh, but again, you still want LeBron to shoot those jumpers instead of yeah. getting to the hole. Well, you don't want him to dunk. That's right. The last thing you want him to do is get dunk, the crowd involved. especially yeah, in Miami. Yeah, you don't want the crowd involved. Yeah. Gentlemen, let's uh, move on. Thank you. You're welcome. The Colts will play the Seahawks in the Super Bowl. We have what? record projections for all 32 NFL Wait, teams. A yeah. Andrew Lux? Andrew Lux teams going to the Super Bowl That's according impossible. to projections. And you may be surprised at the outcome.